scurvy docks. Pirates and smugglers are plenty, but not much in the way of vitamin C. Ah, smell the fresh sea air, Dan. <laughs> Actually, it's not very fresh, is it? Oh, well, <laughs> at least the view is pretty. Welcome to Scurvy Docks, a seaside playground for the dregs of Galamere society. Pirates, smugglers, strumpets, knaves, rascals, blasphemers, finks, loafers and scallywags of every kind. It's worse when the weekend crowd turns up. Oh yeah, and the ghost ship docks here too, loaded up with Zarak's boiler guards. If I were you, I'd come back in the off-season. You could always head straight off to Dragon Island, but you'll need a boat. Try the Harbour Master, but he's kind of particular. Oh. Find a way of getting the harbor master's attention. Right, what have we here then? You're not one of my regulars, I can see that. A boat? You want a boat? Not possible, I'm afraid. The Seafaring Charter, Chapter 3, Rule 7, only pirates can rent pirate boats. Got standards to keep up, see? Next! You are a pirate? Yes, of course you are. And my name's Jolly Roger. Listen. You're genuine buccaneer, wears tricorn hats and eye patches. They have peg legs and parrots. I know these things. I meet pirates on a professional level every day of the week. Now keep out of my way. Blocking my counter is a serious breach of health and safety, and I've got a ship returning as we speak.
it's done. And they look hopped up on cheap grog and see this. <laughs> Smuggler ship full of bootleg designer gear, no doubt. Come on, I love a bargain. Captain's hideaway. That or something like decorating with who knows what they Thank <laughs> you. 
Last, somebody I can do business with. A genuine scurvy sea dog, a black hearted scourge of the high seas, and if I may be so bold, quite a dashing one at that. Mm -hmm. Shame you couldn't patch up your eye socket, but I guess that's the latest crazy seafaring fashion, eh, Captain Burney? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you have plundering to do. J j just follow me and I'll show you your boat. The Hall of Hero. Not you again, you dirty great stop out. Haven't you got a crypt to go to? Alright, Dan, how are you doing? Hmm? I have to say, you're looking a bit bony. I've told you to stay off the tabs. Are you getting enough chips, man? You look like you could do with a good curry or two. Mm hmm? Now, hey, man, have you got yourself a magic sword, Lee? Hmm? 
What's that you say? Daniel, man, you cannot go into battle against an army of the undead without having you as a magic sword. Are you meddling or something? <laughs> Here, man, take mine, man, pet. You'll get nowhere without it, I'm telling you. Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're looking for a dead Dan. You got a study? I never had you down as a reader. You, you use a monocle, right? A training room, eh? Nice decor. Early McCarthy. Oh, mind the lava, Dan. Cremation's not your style, I think. <laughs> 